Uh, my name is David Rubin. I'm uh, 27 years old. I've been at Occupy Wall Street for around three or four weeks. I stop here intermittently throughout the week, maybe three or four days per week after work. Um, I do have a job, a full-time job. I've been pretty fortunate myself. Uh, I was able to go to college and my parents were able to take care of my debt. But I have heard many stories of my friends and just from acquaintances that it's very difficult for them. And I know that in this country we spent $750 billion giving Wall Street a bailout. And you see these people that have this power making very egregiously reckless decisions with their money and they're profiting from a lot of the suffering that's going on amongst ordinary Americans. I think that's a terrible precedent to set in our culture. I think it sends a terrible message to people in other countries who are striving for democratization, for civilization. I think it's a terrible message to the future. And I also think that we have the capability presently to take care of and redress the, the bad things that are going on in this country. We have 1% of people in this country who own over 80% of the wealth. We have 80% of people in this country who own 7% of the wealth. And that's an awful disparity for me. That doesn't bespeak a great democratic nation. And I think that we need to get America back. And I think that one of the misconceptions of Occupy Wall Street is that it's a criticism of America itself, but most of the people I've spoken to here, myself included, are very passionate about America and believe in America. It's the what has become of America that we believe needs to be fixed and changed.